Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Deep Cats Reactions, and my name's Greg. And I had just played a song by Ahmad Jamal, a uh, song Tranquility from his Tranquility album, which truly is tranquil. <laughs> anyway, uh, he died the other day, you know, so I thought it was something that I should play. And he was really famous in, in jazz. He, uh, his deal was he didn't play every note. He, he would miss notes or, you know, leave them out on purpose. And it really added to the, uh, to the whole scene that he was doing. And it was very influential on rock and roll. And one of the, one of the songs you can really see that on is, is from The Doors. And I know everybody's played this, you know, it's Writers on the Storm. But it's significant because uh, Ray Manzarek, who I think was one of the greatest keyboard players ever, uh, that was something he did all the time. You can see it on this, you can see it uh, particularly on When the Music's Over, which I, I would play, but I've already played it. Uh, but yeah, that was kind of his deal. And it each one of those notes that he did not play were just as important as the notes he did play. And you can kind of see it, you know, as we as we listen to this song. So let's go ahead and check it out. This is Riders on the Storm, and I actually have not heard this for quite a while, so I'm anxious to hear it. Riders on the storm Into this house we're born Into this world we're thrown Like a dog without a bone And actor out alone Riders on the storm There's a killer on the road his brain is squirming like a toad Take a long holiday Let your children play If you give this man a ride Sweet family will die Killer on the road
Riders on the storm Riders on the storm Into this house we're born Into this world we're thrown Like a dog without a bone And actor out alone Riders on the storm Yeah, that what an incredible song. I mean, it you know, it's it's God, it was so great. You know, all the instruments on that are incredible. And again, you know, all these guys could play really fast and do all that stuff, but it was a very minimalist song. And it's it's funny to me because you know, I say that the that the Doors are one of the most underrated bands there is. And you know, when I say that, people are like, what the hell are you talking about? They were really super, super famous and blah, blah, woof, woof, you know. And yeah, that's true. But everybody thinks of Jim Morrison when they think of The Doors. You know, his poetry and his vocals, which, I mean, they were great, you know. They were great. Don't get me wrong. But the rest of the band, <laughs> they were ridiculously good and played in a style that nobody else was doing. Anything like that. And as you could see from a lot of that, you know, was it rock and roll? Was it jazz? What are you going to say? You know, all of the above? That's always the right answer, right? So, <laughs> anyway, and the production on the album, or certainly on the song, was just incredible. I, I found it fascinating how they used the rain and the thunder as another instrument. That's essentially what it was doing in the song. It was very, very well done. Very classy song. But, uh, yeah, it's, you know, I love The Doors. Not everything. You know, there were songs that they did I didn't care for, uh, just like with most groups. But, man, when they were good, they were they were absolutely freaking incredible. So, uh, again, you know, hats off to Ray Mantorek for his incredible keyboards, uh, I'll probably play some more. You know, if you if you haven't, go back and listen to when the music's over, because again, that's it's really exceptionally emphasized in that song. The notes he doesn't play. So uh, anyway, like I say, I just thought it was significant because it it in style it borrows something from Ahmad Jamal. You know, and and like I say, there's there's so many different influences on rock and roll. I think it's so cool. I love the music. It's uniquely American. I mean, it ended up going worldwide, of course, but but what American jazz brought to the the genre and uh, the different things that were, you know, that they were doing were really unique. And and uh, I don't know. I just think it's wonderful. I I love it. I love music. <laughs> obviously, or I wouldn't be doing this channel. That's the only reason I do it. I, you know, I just like music. It's not like I have monetized this channel or anything like that. You know, I 
I think it would be kind of immoral for me to be trying to make money off of somebody else's incredible artwork, you know, that they've done. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm just doing this because I love music and I've got to get my daily fix of it. So I figure, hell, you know, if I'm going to listen, I might as well put it out there on the Internet for everybody to get a chance to, to listen to. So anyway, I'll be back in a minute and not sure where I'm going from here, but we'll find out. So uh, hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.